Welcome to the first episode of GDN, some Greg Day news. It's always a Greg Day. We are coming to you live, no, no, coming to you pre-recorded from our home. This is nothing new. We stole the idea from John Krasinski's SGN, Some Good News. If you haven't seen that, check that out on YouTube. But let's share some good stories happening around us. We begin tonight with news of a local man and his bread. Adam Punjabi, our newest manager and local master baker, has been slaving over his oven, providing free loaves of bread to our team members that cannot find bread in the grocery stores. For more on this, let's go to our top correspondent, Andrew. Hey Adam, thank you for taking time out of your busy day to come and uh, sit down and chat with us. First off, uh, why do you want to work here? Wow, um, I do work here, so uh, I don't know if I should answer that. I love working here. I mean, I love being at Apple. I mean, one of the biggest things right now is just how everything has uh, been handled with the shutdown and whatnot. Um, I think the company's really taken care of us and it's just really proud to, to be able to work for, for Apple right now, so yeah. So the main story, you're baking bread for everyone here, um, obviously offering it to anyone that needs it, which is a huge, huge service. Uh, what got you into baking bread originally? I, I love the challenge of making bread. Uh, I got into a lot of different types of baking a few years ago, probably like, Five years ago, I just really started to bake a lot. Um, I just find there, there's something so humble about a loaf of bread. Uh, every culture has, has some type of bread that they eat and it's something so simple and you can make it with three ingredients. All you need is flour, water, and salt and you can make a loaf of bread. Uh, so it's just really cool to me that you can get something so complex in flavor and texture and uh, also just something that's very nourishing uh, in, in such a simple ingredient list. So I've always loved uh, something like that and it's just a really humble dish so got into just making it with that. That's really great, yeah. That's awesome to hear. Uh, how many loaves of bread do you think you've made so far? Uh, I've made probably about 33 to 35 loaves of bread and that's just that's just loaves for people that needed it. Wow, I know that doesn't go unappreciated so that's that's awesome. Thank you for myself personally. I know you've, you've brought us some bread and it's been a uh, real treat. Is, is there any other messages you'd like to share or anything you'd want to say to everyone? Uh, no, I mean, if anyone needs any loaf of bread or anything like that, if anyone's struggling to find anything, uh, something simple like that, please let me know. Uh, I'm available to be able to try and provide something like that for anyone that may need it, so. Awesome, thanks so much, Adam. We really appreciate it. Back to you. Our top story tonight is about a local boba milk tea truck. Blitz Boba, ran by Randall Capuno, has shifted his business, delivering smiles directly to your home. His team is delivering fresh milk tea and do-it-yourself boba directly to your front door. His team, though, did not stop there. Let's see what they're doing for the community. Let's go live to Randall. So we had some jugs donated to us, and we decided to match every single jug donated. So right now we are at 21 jugs. We're, we're delivering to three different hospitals today. We're matching those to deliver 42 jugs of boba to healthcare workers across Las Vegas. And yeah, we appreciate everything that you guys are doing for us and we love y'all. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Just kidding, of course I did because I'm filming this alone in my room. Welcome to Happy Headlines. The first great news of today is that Apple is still paying its employees. Amazing. Sources say the employees report being extremely grateful for how well the company is taking care of them through these uncertain times. Hashtag is lit. Next up, we have the heartwarming story of actor and director Tyler Perry picking up the tab for thousands of senior and at-risk grocery shoppers at 29 stores in New Orleans and 44 stores in Atlanta. Come through, Medea! To top it off, last week, all 22 Denny's locations across the Las Vegas Valley offered free curbside breakfast to first responders and our healthcare workers. We here at GDN give so much thanks to those serving our community so that we may be healthy. Yes, Devin, didn't think I'd be back on air so soon, but we out here with reports of two local spots that definitely top our charts this week of dirty dining. Inspectors say that Valley Girl Kitchen and Desert Boys Kitchen have been cited on multiple violations, including unapproved equipment, using canned food, and lack of content. Quite unbelievable, and folks, we recommend following both of these places to keep up to date on if they change their dirty, dirty ways. Reporting live for GDN Dirty Dining, I'm Courtney Schalk. For all of us here at GDN, I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, Las Vegas. <laughs>